This is Boston University men's basketball on ESPN Plus as tonight the Terriers host the reigning Northeast Conference champions, the Wagner College Seahawks. Opportunity, DeAndre Howell style. That one gets stolen away by Mike McNair. Terriers out and running. Nobly ahead for the two-handed slam on a great feed by Miles Brewster. Terrific hounding defense from Wagner. McNair, does he see the shot clock? It's down to two. Brewster at the shot clock, got it! Miles Brewster just beats the shot clock. Wow, terrific defense, but the- Look in the corner and Nico knocks it down. Now it's Escara trying to answer from the right corner. Wow, how about that on the other side? Roy, over to Baptiste, the three from that right wing, short. Defty got another hand on it and keeps it alive, but Baptiste throws it right into the hands of Zaire Williams. One to 15. Escara running the show over left side. It's Zaire Williams buries the triple. You, Baptiste the three from the left corner, well short, and it's gonna be on the run for Rob Taylor. Ben Roy able to steal it. He was getting back to take a charge. Great hands by Ben Roy. Roy, two-man game with McNair. Back to Palacios the trailer, and the Terriers will slow it up for a moment. Roy, baseline, Palacio sets again for three. You bet! What a feed, Ben Roy! Over to Roy. Ben with the drive with the left hand gets all the way in, blocked away by Howell South. He tried to switch to the right hand, and Howell South would have none of that. But now McNair with a steal. McNair and Roy, two on one. Kyron Alexander trailing it, and Ben Roy draws the foul. Escara has it for Wagner. Over to Zaire Williams. Williams a three with an answer in 30 minutes of those games. Alexander, a three, comes up short as Howell South was able to contest that one. On the run, Zaire Williams. And Wagner coming out with a little more pace here in the second half. Bounce pass, and there is RJ Green with an answer. Nope. They get it to Kyrone, who's able to get to the elbow. Now Abdullah for three in the corner, right in front of the Terrier bench. Defensive side. Terrier's got a stop on last possession. 15 on the shot clock. RJ Green, unbelievable. Spin baseline for two. Chemezi looking to hand the ball off. Gets it over to Abdul, who lost the ball. Abdul loses it to Fitch. Now it's Escara on the run, being chased by Alexander. And Escara is able to finish with a left-handed finish. And now a timeout called. Points 10 to four now. They have the advantage in fast break points. That defense making immediate dividends. How about Palacios? The ball up by six after the big three by Big Ben Palacios. Roy, corner three, Kyron Alexander, you bet! Inside out perfectly as Alexander hits the Terriers ninth three of this game. And one off their bench, Ramir Moore, not available today. Xavier Fitch gets the offensive rebound. Escara a three, lines it up and buries it in the post. Chemezi looked like he traveled, goes to the right hand hook, no good. And he may have gotten away with one, too. You definitely think he got away with one there, but he hasn't had a lot of touches, and we're seeing him miss a few as Xavier Williams knocks down the big three to cut this lead to three. Last year, the Terriers had 15 wins when they led with five minutes to go. R.J. Green right around Ben Roy. Now the Terriers with an answer. This is not where you can just try to hold off the clock. Alexander hands off. Chemezi lays it up and in. What a feed by Kyrone. Point guard and the captain of this team. Zaire Williams, baseline drive. Kelton a three in the corner. Rolls around and in. A friendly roll here in Boston for the New York club. There for the three, but he took the two instead. Palacios now in double figures. The third Terrier, he's got 10. Green baseline, blocked away by Chemezi. What a great side block by Malcolm. Green, though, another opportunity and puts it in. No, they're letting him play. Green with the drive, knocks over Palacios. Ball comes loose. Tyrone picks it up and a foul is called. It could have been an offensive foul. Instead, no call. Terriers pick the ball up and BU with a chance to try to get more from the free throw line. You see the help in Cairo and Alexander. Nico Nobly in terms of on the other side of the timeline as there's the inbound. They do not want to go to Escara in the backcourt. They go to Green. Green starts the baseline, puts it up and in with .6 left. How about that set play? And RJ Green, just like we talked about, an opportunity. Now, the pass all the way over, and it's going to be, no, there, that one never touched anyone. So now, with .6 left, Wagner can inbound the basketball underneath their own basket. I don't think that ball was touched. I don't think the clock should have started. And I think Wagner's gonna have a possession underneath their own basket with .6 on the clock. 
Escara to inbound right by the Essen Terriers. Looking for something, a tip or a catch, quick catch and shoot. Inside green ball, loose throws it up. Will it count? I don't know if it counted. They're saying it does on the floor, but they're going to review it. Fouled and thrown up all within point six. I think we'll have to take another look at this. As you see, the ball comes loose. There's the tip. Wow, maybe he did. Yeah. That is so close. The one looking. And the shot is good. They will count it, not enough to turn it over. And Wagner will escape with a 60 to 58 victory. Coach, what can you take away from a game like today? Yeah, I thought um, Wagner's physicality in the paint really disrupted our offense. And then offensively, you know, we just had a tough time getting the ball inside. So we just got to look at the tape and kind of be better with some of our turnovers on the offensive end. And then defensively being able to kind of get in the gaps and stop some of their drivers. Yeah, and going off of that, what's the main focus going to be heading into the next game? I, honestly, I think just containing the ball one-on-one. -on -one. Um, you know, Wagner did a, a tremendous job of just getting downhill. Guys like Green, Williams were able to kind of get downhill and finish at the rim. So we just got to get back to the drawing board in terms of like guarding one-on-one -on -one off of like Philly action and being able to contain the ball. Thank you. Thank you.